welcome to Eklavi Overseas. This is Poonema Chauhan, and today I have on board Miss Elizabeth, who is a Bulgarian delegation herself, and she is representing the Bulgarian universities in India. And I am very delighted to share this information to each and everyone out there who are looking to get a medical seat in European Union. And hence, uh, I have uh, initiated to take to make a video on this topic. And hence, I would be doing the complete details so that each and every one uh, of you who are looking to get a medical seat in Bulgaria will get complete information about the eligibility requirements. How is the medical education in Bulgaria? What are the scopes? What is the complete budget, the accommodation, and the lifestyle in Bulgaria? So I definitely would like to welcome Miss Elizabeth on board, and she would also like to share the detailed uh, information about how uh, the Indian students can get an advantage to study MBBS in Bulgaria. So first of all, I would like to welcome here in our office, and uh, since many of the Indian students are interested in taking a medical seat in Europe, especially in Bulgaria since it's a part of European Union. So they would actually want to know how a Bulgaria as a country and how about the studies over there, especially the medical education. And uh, they would like to know a few details like about the environment, the climate and where it is exactly located. So uh, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, Bulgaria is a beautiful small country located in Eastern Europe. Uh, it has it, its location is very strategic actually because it is the connection between the east and the west. Mm -hmm. uh, it is part of the European Union since 2007, as you have mentioned. Uh, so we are much more connected to the west now, and uh, we are a strategic partner for all the Western countries uh, in all the ways, including education, because. Um, Whoever gets education from Bulgaria can easily practice now all over the world because of the fact that we are part of the European Union. We have actually also applied to be a member of Schengen, so hopefully oh, within a year or two this will also be a fact. Uh, definitely very soon from now. Um, yes, like because yes, students they are you know they want an advantage to study in a Schengen country, so I think this would be the biggest opportunity that Indian students can have if they study in MBBS in Bulgaria. Most definitely, yes. yes. We have already applied it to matter. They would also want to know about the currency because in other countries there may be fluctuations as per the USD rate. So. Yes, that's a very valid point. Uh, our currency, although it's still a Bulgarian level, it's our own currency, but it is fixed to the Euro. So the exchange rate is completely fixed. There is so it's fixed. There is no chance change. that in coming years uh, there will not be any fluctuations. So it's a very no good point here uh, that the currency is absolutely fixed. They don't have any variations in the currency. The, the legal entity has signed a proper agreement on that. Yes, and actually very soon Euro also will become the official uh, currency. It's a matter again of 2-3 years maximum. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I would like to know from you about uh, the opportunities for the Indian students who would like to settle in Europe or in different countries in abroad like UK, USA. What will be the scope if they study from the universities like Sofia or Varna? So will, what would be the opportunities exactly they are getting if they, what would be the advantages uh, to be very specific if they are uh, passing out from the universities in Bulgaria? So we are very proud to have five medical universities in Bulgaria which provide full education in English and the duration is for six years and because of the fact that Bulgaria is part of the European Union the degree that our students receive is well recognized all around the world. We are proud to have a high number of uh, Indian students also who have passed their exams successfully and they have got their education and settled successfully in countries like US, UK, Canada uh, simply because of the fact that the whole education including the license exam everything is carried out in English and of course we are part of the European Union so uh, together with the Bulgarian degree university degrees you actually receive a European Union degree as well okay you have mentioned that the license exam is in English so is it like true that the students who pass their MBBS from Bulgaria to get a license to practice in in in, in a European country would be in English like is it true it's abs absolutely true 100% uh, valid and uh, this is made again for convenience point of view and for the fact that the country attracts a lot of foreign um, 
students potential students and uh, of course because of the fact that we want to provide education which can be used not only in the country uh, in our own language but also internationally in English so that's why the license exam is also carried out in English this is definitely a very good uh, advantage of studying in Bulgaria since many countries in European Union as I have mentioned in my previous videos as well except Poland Bulgaria is the country in Europe which is giving the license exam in English and license exam is basically what it's basically required to practice in particular country as a doctor exactly. so basically the pattern that the the the, the medical uh, body follows is like a student studying in a university they need to pass an exam which would be a state level exam yes absolutely it's a state level exam and uh, just to mention that we are proud to have very high development of uh, technology and means of teaching as well uh, and we are proud to have a lot of uh, university hospitals in which the students get the practical chance to uh, you know put in practice what they have been studying for two or three years mm -hmm. after that they have an internship year um, which is guaranteed from the university and uh, yeah there is definitely a very good scope of practice as well but definitely bulgarian language would be mandatory to learn since they are doing their mbbs um, they need to learn the bulgarian language yes yes there is a compulsory period of two or three years in which they will have to take uh, certain credits of uh, studying the bulgarian language because that's the way in which they will be able to communicate to the patient but the license exam is still in english okay definitely so this is a very good thing if you are uh, looking for a uni for a country wherein you can easily get registration or easy get easily get license to practice so i don't think there is any other better option than bulgaria you are going to get in europe within such a lower a lower range of budget because we, yeah. we are going to discuss about the budget and the overall tuition fee structures as well later on in this video but before that because since we have talked about the license exam i would also like to discuss all the nmc guidelines with you since the nmc has the national medical commission of india it has imposed few restrictions on students who are going in abroad to pursue their medical education one amongst them is the license ex license or registration to practice which we have already discussed apart from this uh, the language you have already told that it's completely yes. in english language so the second say. second is also uh, like the bulgarian medical education is fulfilling all the nmc guidelines till now third is the duration of mbbs yes so, so the duration is basically a total of 6 years mm -hmm. out of which 5 years is the educational period and 1 year of internship which again as you mentioned completely satisfies the yes it is also satisfies the requirement by nmc they have mentioned that 54 months of mbbs minimum is required plus uh, 12 months of clinical internship that is completely satisfied yes. and what about the hospitals like you have mentioned the universities they are having their own hospitals yes so the universities make sure that the internships are carried out within their own university hospitals within the reach of uh, uh, the educational training program so uh, we are happy to say that only in the capital itself there are 16 universities city hospitals that are available for all the interns okay. and uh, in other big cities also there are minimum 8 to 10 hospitals which makes it very good for the students to actually have the opportunity to practice in a larger scale okay so that is uh, something very good to know about since uh, if a candidate is going for a medical education the mostly emphasis they are giving on the clinical rotations they are having how much practical exposure they are getting exactly. gain, they are gaining in the medical university so uh, like you have mentioned there are five medical universities uh, because students uh, you know they are mostly looking for a university looking in a capital city because of many reasons so yes. is it true that only capital city universities are good over other universities uh, so there are students who would definitely prefer the capital city because of the fact that it's the largest city most likely in the country the way it is in bulgaria sofia is the largest city but there are other cities which offer equally good quality of education okay. uh they have uh, extremely experienced uh, lecturers teachers professors uh phd and so on so i would say that it's a matter of personal choice the big city requires its um, has its own different requirements when it comes to spending the, those 6 years whereas yes. a smaller city may give you another privilege of having you know more time 
time uh, to focus on the studies. Exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. So there may be uh, pros and cons for whatever yeah. places you are going. Definitely. So that is completely up to you which city you are preferring. You can either go to the capital city, have yes. a good exposure on the lifestyle, or and maybe the cost may also vary here. Definitely. Like if you are going to a capital yes. city, the cost may be slightly higher. Slightly higher. Yes. Up to twenty percent higher is the cost living in the capital city. Otherwise, another great option is the University of Varna, the Medical University in Varna, also the Medical University in Pleven, we have uh, Trakia University in Stara Zagora and Plovdiv Medical University. So these are, uh, I would say that all the five options would definitely provide a very high level of education which will be world recognized anyhow. So choosing the city is a matter of personal choice. Okay, so what about the, uh, like what would be the variation in the living cost for example if a student is living in Pleven and if a student living in Sofia so how much cost will vary um, as I mentioned um, it will be a difference of around 20% simply because of the fact uh, that Bulgaria is also a tourist destination so the capital and uh, let's say the second the third biggest city is uh, Varna so these two cities they attract a lot of tourists because mm -hmm. of that the rents are highly uh, sli uh, sorry, mm. slightly higher okay. than um, they would be in a town like Pleven which is also a beautiful peaceful destination which definitely high quality education again I'm saying can be obtained all right so I think the living costs uh, may slightly vary as ma'am has mentioned 20% so in yeah. Sofia it could be around 400 to 500 yeah, euros 400. yes yes and yes. in Varna it's almost same around 400 to 500 euros and in other, other cities it may go like around uh, 300 or maybe 350 euros per month that would be for your like for your complete overall living cost the accommodation plus food yes. what about Indian food is it available? oh yes Indian food is uh, world famous now so <laughs> it is easy <laughs> Available. We have uh, many Indian shops, also restaurants, so there's no issue. So now uh, the last thing I would like to know about uh, living in Bulgaria and basically studying in Bulgaria is there are students who you know who would like to work along with the studies. Uh, in some countries, we have known that it's not uh, allowed for the students to work while doing their studies. So there are students who wants to know on the work opportunities parallelly while doing their uh, their graduation and what would be the PR opportunities like if, if the candidate or a student would like to settle in Bulgaria what would be uh, the conditions on that? Okay so these are of course very valid questions when it comes to taking such important decision as to where to do your um, to education mm -hmm. yeah where to study. So uh, during the studies uh, a student is allowed to work up to 20 hours per week uh, this is completely fine uh, for all international students as well as local students uh, as a matter of fact uh, so yes there is no problem into that 20 hours per week uh, when it comes to PR uh, of course uh, a student after completing their education medical education they would have spent six years in the country so they would definitely have the right to apply for PR and if they manage to learn the language they will uh, just have to go through a certain test and um they will have the opportunity to to actually get the PR which is actually it will be a Euro European Union PR which uh, as everybody knows it will open the doors for a lot of opportunity not only in Bulgaria but in other European Union other countries, European countries, as, countries well. as well so yes this is also a great thing about studying medicine in Bulgaria that you are allowed to work 20 hours per week so they can also earn side yeah, by definitely. side you can also uh, take expenses like you can uh, cater your ex living expenses at least and um, about the PR also because I'm sure every country has their some you know eligibility mm. criteria to qualify for the PR for getting the PR so that is a different thing we are not getting into PR thing right now so what left is just the overall budget of the medical university since I I think I have already uh, make one video which is uh, only specifying towards towards the uh, the budget of the medical universities in Bulgaria so approximately on an average if we uh, tell the total budget including the living things 
including the uh, accommodation food the tuition fee so cumulative it would around it would be coming around uh, 50 to 60 lakhs in inr exactly. approximately yes right that's completely right so yes. this would be the budget around uh, while if you uh, choose uh, to pursue uh-huh. mbbs from bulgaria So thank you so much ma'am uh, for you. having us and for uh, for making video with us mm-hmm. and to share uh, deep insights about medical education in Bulgaria. Thank you wishing success to all the prospective thank you. students. Thank you so and much. And see you in Bulgaria. Yeah. <laughs>